Hello. It's Joe Massiello. Um, <clears throat> I figured I should talk to you guys about uh, my Clever Art Yarn book series. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me you know, certain questions, and I've answered them, but it seems like I'm repeating myself within personal messages for people, so I figured, like, hey, I'll get some questions down. So, um, I wrote Clairvoyant Yarn. I'm still writing Clairvoyant Yarn. We're uh, 10 components in out of 15. Um, I had started it actually as a. I had a weird dream, <laughs> which was kind of what the com component one is based off of. You know, seriously, don't feed the ducks. And um, it was just a weird dream. It was me, and my brother, and some friends. We were being chased by robots in the woods. And it was raining, and there was. There was, you know, music all around us, and, you know, we kept running away, we kept being chased because something happened at a lake, and, you know, we were, we were in a lot of trouble at this lake, and we just had to keep running and running and running. And, little details from that, but then, I had this dream when I was 15, and then when I was 17, I had to, uh, write a narrative essay for, uh, for an English class. And I got like an 86 on the paper and was like a really hard teacher and I was so proud of myself. And I was like, huh, maybe I could do something about this. Cause like a lot of my friends in the, at that time had read it, the paper, and they were like, well, what happens next? And, you know, well, where'd this come from? And stuff like that. So I, uh, I elaborated on that. And then it just became a story of its own. So, you know, my fascination with science and, and the solar system, not so much ours, but, you know, surrounding solar systems within our own you know, Milky Way Galaxy. Um, so once the news broke in 07 about uh, the Gliese 581 planetary system, that it's possible to have inhabitable life, and the Gliese 581c was big in 07, and then in 2010, Gliese 581g was discovered, and it was like, oh, well, maybe that's habitable. And at that point, I was already writing. So I just think it's interesting that, you know, I've given this planetary system life. You know, they're 23 trillion light years away from us. I, I don't remember the exact number. 20 something trillion light years from us. Hop, skip, and a jump, right? Here's four of them. But, um, I like that. I like, you know, diving into the sci-fi aspect of weaponry and technology and, you know. But I also like the fact that I've given this Gleisian culture a language and a religion and a political structure. And it's its own world, essentially. And my characters get to, get to live through that world have their adventures and have their quests and have their drama and their scandals the scandals and the death yeah it sucks when you kill a character it's like you get attached to, to your character you gave life to it and then you take it away but there's always a reason why I'm taking the life away um clairvoyant yarn clairvoyant yarn broken down means psychic stories psychic tales that's what the title stands for. And Drake and his brothers and his friends or whoever wants to go with him to those clairvoyant yarn meetings, they're essentially AA meetings, right? Alcoholics Anonymous meetings. But they're not really anonymous. They're just like going to these meetings, these clairvoyant yarn meetings, and they're telling their stories and they're getting their support because being clairvoyant, you know, can be difficult. It can be scary. More so back in the day, not so much now because a lot of people are open about it. But uh, I thought it was cool, you know, questioning my own self within my own beliefs back then, now I'm set, you know, I understand things now, but I like that I get the question through Drake, and, you know, Drake is retelling his stories, he's telling his past lives, he's telling his experiences, he's telling his moments, and it's pretty cool because, you know, the time that the stories end, you know, I, I already know how I'm going to end it, which I'm not going to share, but it, you know, can lead into a whole bunch of other different versions of different stories. You know, the Clairvoyant Yarn meetings, there's, they even talked about it. Mrs. Dawson even talked about it. You know, they're not just that one localized basement of St. Scraps and Mortium. It's not that. You know, there's Clairvoyant Yarn meetings everywhere. So, you know, fan fiction, you could take it anywhere. I could take it anywhere. <laughs> but I like being localized to Drake, the Pleiades residents, you know, his brothers, his friends. You know, the drama that just happened with, you know, Component 10, you know, Glycine and Zombies. That was painful. Painful to write that. Oh, it was painful. <clears throat> it's interesting, though. Writing's interesting. But the Clevermont Yarn Series are a lot of fun because it's different. It makes you think. 
makes you think. You question things. You know, it's like, oh, well, is this possible? You know, can people actually, you know, see the future and feel certain things? You know, pick up certain vibes. You know, there's been times throughout the series, you know, Drake would always get these feelings that something was going to happen. And they would happen. And he'd get pissed off at himself for knowing that there was the future came, but you know, you couldn't speed time up to get there and couldn't alter the future. So what's the point of knowing the future if you can't change it? You know? So that's, you know, his mindset. But Clairvoyant Yarn is, is is an interesting series because it's different it makes you think. You know, it they're short compared to like a Percy Jackson or Harry Potter novel. But all the materials there, you know, the plots are there. I don't dive into you know 87 billion subplots, which have no point. I have a very short attention span, so if I can't get through something, then my understanding is that most people can't get through something. My books are fast-paced, and the one series, the Clairvoyant Yarn series, very fast-paced, makes you think, very different, keep your mind open. And enjoy it. It's an adventure. The whole story is an adventure. Every component is its own adventure. And you pay attention because you pick up little things along the way. Like, oh, that person's related to this person. And this happened because of that. It's fun. It's fun to write your own little, you know, dramedies. Drama comedies. Good times. So yeah, clever one yarn. Check the links down below to uh if you want to purchase them, if you want to read them, if you want to borrow them from uh, people who already have them, do it. Question. If you have any other questions, you know, by all means, hit me up. All right? Like the pages on Facebook. And, uh, yeah, keep your eye out. More books coming soon. Peace.